Okay, in this video I'm going to talk about what are called arithmetic sequences. And recall a sequence is just a listing of numbers. Um, a regular, just a plain old sequence doesn't have to have any pattern at all to the numbers that appear. But an arithmetic sequence is going to be a sequence where succeeding terms in the sequence differ by a constant amount. So um, in this video I just want to give a real quick introduction to what arithmetic sequences are. In another video I'll talk about finding the general term a sub n and then also about um, finding sums of, of partial arithmetic uh, se uh, series. Um, so the only thing we're going to do here is determine which of the following sequences are arithmetic. If they are arithmetic, we're going to give the value of d. Um, so we'll talk about this d here. So the idea of an arithmetic series is, is simple. Um, notice, okay, so to go from 3 to 8, we would have to add 5. To go from 8 to 13, we would have to add 5. To go from the number 13 to 18, hey, we add 5. And notice this pattern continues. Um, we'll just keep adding 5, adding 5, adding 5. And, you know, assumedly, if this pattern continues, well, then it would certainly be what we call an arithmetic sequence because every term is, uh, is differing by a constant amount. And this value that you have to add to get to the next term is going to be positive 5. So we say our d value is positive 5. Notice in my second example here, I start at negative 0.7. Then we go to negative 1.7, negative 2.7, negative 3.7, negative 4.7, etc. In this case, every term is differing. Um, you have to subtract 1 to get to the next term. So in this case, we would say, yes, this is arithmetic, and our d value equals negative 1. And our third example, okay, well, let's just test um, one of my numbers here. So um, so 1.6 to 2.2, uh, 2 .2, it looks like we've added on 0 0.6. 2.2 .2 to 2.8, we've added on 0 0.6. Oh, 2.8 to 3.3, .3, though, we've added on positive 0 0.5. And once you find... Um, two numbers that are different, it doesn't matter what happens from then on out. Um, since they're not differing by the same amount, we say it's not arithmetic. Okay, so, you know, the only real thing here to check if a, if a sequence is arithmetic is just to be careful with your arithmetic. And in my last one here, 4 thirds, 5 thirds, 2, 7 thirds, 8 thirds, 3, well, notice we could change 2 if, you, if we make that into a fraction. We could make it 2 over 1, multiply top and bottom by 3. Hey, we would get 6 thirds. Likewise, we can make 3 into 9 thirds. And we go from 1 third, 5 thirds, 6 thirds, 7 thirds, 8 thirds, 9 thirds. So it looks like we're adding the value of 1 third um, each time to get to the term after that one. So again, we would say this one is arithmetic, and our d value would equal positive one third. So the first one, yes, it's arithmetic. The second one is arithmetic. The third one we said wasn't. Um, and the fourth one we also said was arithmetic. So that's the basic idea of an arithmetic um, sequence. That's all there is to it. So finding, again, a formula for the general term and using that can sometimes be a little tricky. Also, sometimes, too, they'll have you add up um, finitely many terms. And we'll, uh, in uh, some other videos, I'll talk about doing both of those things.